All right, guys, we have a special word from our creator. Uh, you guys, I'm sure, are familiar with Scene Missing, right? That's our, our, mother, our, our mother's show. Well, you guys will definitely know this next guy. You know, the South has got something to say. And so does, I know that sounds like a dare commercial when I say it. So does our creator, Mr. Jason Mallory. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? This is a few words about outcasts. There's a sketch at the end of my favorite outcast song, The Art of Storytelling, part one. where you can hear a storm and an old lady yells, Keisha, Keisha. And Keisha's like, huh? And the old lady says, cut that loud mess off. You hear all that thundering and lightning? And get off that telephone. And Keisha's like, all right. <laughs> And Keisha's little brother says, Grandmama, what's all that noise? And Keisha says, I'm scared. And Grandmama says, Baby, don't be scared. It's going to be all right. It's just the Lord doing his work. Okay? My whole thing with this is, how does this kid not know what thunder and lightning is. <laughs> it's like, it's one of our most common weather occurrences. It's not like he's seeing like the northern lights for the first time. And instead of explaining it to him like, oh, the superheated air around a lightning bolt causes the air to expand faster than the speed of sound, and that causes thunder. His grandma just kind of blames it on Jesus. Blame it on Jesus. <laughs> like, I just don't think that this is a good way to get a kid to stop asking questions. Oh, that noise? It's just our Lord and Savior. No big deal. <laughs> it's a big deal. <laughs> Whatever he's up to, he needs 30 million volts of electricity to do it. <laughs> Is he fighting someone in the sky? Is he making a Frankenstein's monster? Is he making a bride for that Frankenstein's monster? <laughs> Who knows? So just stop thinking about whatever awesome thing Jesus is doing. Awesome thing he's doing. I mean, like, I don't expect her to break out the green screen and, and take him to meteorolo meteorology school. But the Lord is a, a heavy metaphysical concept. Like, I'm not saying, I like how I got too weird for you guys. <laughs> I'm not saying we shouldn't talk to kids about the Lord, but I am saying, like, if I had, like, if a kid had tough questions for me about religion and weather, and I had to choose which topic I would tackle first, thunder and lightning would come before Jesus. Talk about convection currents. I met Andre 3000 one time in an Atlanta park when I was walking around with my ex-girlfriend. When I saw Andre 3000, I made a beeline for him and I stuck out my hand and I said the weirdest thing possible. I said, 
Are you who I think you are? Like that's kind of an existential way to greet someone. Like it really challenges their personal identity. Like, hey, nice to meet you. Can you do me a quick favor? Maybe read my thoughts, <laughs> identify what I'm visualizing, compare it against what you know yourself to look like, and verify that it is, in fact, a match. Andre 3000 was pretty cool about it, though. He shook my hand and he said, uh, yeah, uh, nice to meet you. But while he was shaking my hand, his eyes were fixed on my ex-girlfriend's cleavage. <laughs> like, his arm is going for the handshake, and his eyes are like, bye, bitch, as they go the complete opposite direction to land on my ex-girlfriend's breast. So he's just like, like, nice to meet you. It's not really how you shake hands. That's not how I shake hands. It's not how anybody shakes hands. But to be fair to Andre 3000, her cleavage brought out weird reactions in men. Like one time, a bald guy at Six Flags was walking by and like stopped to jam his face. I know. To jam his face like inches away from her chest and he went, ah. And then he ran away. It was not the old bald man from the Six Flags commercials. But he embodied the spirit of the old man from the Six Flags commercials. Like, I think that Six Flags is where bald men go to let their freak out. Like, Six Flags is international waters for weird old bald men. All this to say, Andre 3000 never really got a good look at me. I could have been a two-headed monster with the head of Big Boy on one side and the head of Miss Jackson on the other, sitting in the cab of the Stankonia Express, pulling a train whistle, yelling, all aboard! Nobody was with that. But I still like the imagery, you know? A two-headed monster with Big Boy and Miss Jackson and none of you are on board for it? All right. But I'm not here to chastise Andre 3000. I'm not here to say who should and shouldn't look at my ex-girlfriend's boobs. Look at my ex-girlfriend's boobs all you want. It's not like I was standing there while he was looking at her boobs, waving my arms like, hey, look at me. Don't look at those boobs. Look at me. My face is better somehow. It's better to look at me. I would never, like my visage, my general physical appearance, like looking at me versus looking at boobs, I would never try to win that competition. <laughs> but it does seem to me that breasts are probably the perfect medium for delivering messages or asking questions of your favorite celebrities. Like what if when Andre 3000 was looking down my ex-girlfriend's shirt, he'd seen a drawing on her chest of a kid with a question mark over his head under a big thundercloud in the sky. <laughs> Maybe Big Boy is coming out of it and he's holding two lightning bolts like Zeus. <laughs> and he's throwing them at the kid. And the caption is, why don't you know what thunder and lightning is? <laughs> anyway. That must have been a strange moment for Andre 3000. I'm over here, like, asking all these weird Jaden Smith-like questions. <laughs> like, 
like, how can mirrors be real if our eyes aren't real, like that kind of thing. My ex-girlfriend is over here, like, some kind of fertility statue, distracting the hell out of him. And he's just trying to get across the park. But isn't that what outcast music is all about? Confronting weirdness and sex in the dirty south? Maybe that's what Andre 3000's life is like all the time. One long parade of beautiful women and total psychos. Like all day, every day, just shaking hands with thunder and lightning. Andre 3000, if you're listening to this, I really, I can't see the crowd, you may be. Next time somebody comes up to you and asks, are you who I think you are? Don't get freaked out, unless you're at Six Flags, and it's a bald man asking the question, because it's international waters, and you don't know what he's going to do. He can't be prosecuted for his actions. <laughs> it's just the Lord doing his work. Okay? Thank you. Now it's beginning to look a lot like wood Follow my every step Take notes on how I crept I'm about to go in depth This is the way I creep my season Here's my ghetto rep I kept to say the least No, no, I can't see